New York Comic Con has a very special place in my heart. Every year I look forward to Comic Con. The community is awesome. People are super friendly. It's like the, you can just be yourself. It's very exciting to see other people. It's really special. I mean, I feel like you kind of speak a It, it, it took a while before here. I realized that I wasn't alone in the world. It's a hundred worlds in one. It's just home. Thank you, thank you so much. Thank that was you. really cool. Yeah, yeah. Looking to see how you did this. Yeah, yeah. I am too. I left shortly after. I left sort of like right after we did the principal uh, work on this. So, uh, but yeah, I'm looking forward to it. So, how, how do you uh, approach Wonder Woman? To, to make it fresh and yet a Well, a lot of it comes from the script, you know? Uh, so by the time I got on, I was told we had no more coins left to change the script. We didn't have time. So, uh, you know, you take the script as is, and, you know, there's a lot of really interesting things going on with the story, seeing Wonder Woman in places we haven't seen her yet. I think that's where the freshness comes from. How do you take a character and put her in a position nobody's ever seen? And we really kind of squeeze her, you know, mentally, um, and do some really interesting things with her. She makes mistakes, you know, uh, so, yeah, that's sort of how we do it. It was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun. You know, Wonder Woman's enjoying this sort of renaissance now. Everyone's really into this character. Yeah. The last few years, probably since the Galaxy movie and on, I guess. What is it, though? What do you think it is about, here we are in 2019, that Wonder Woman is kind of exploding? I feel like Wonder Woman as a character, she's a little bit more vulnerable. Like, Superman doesn't really show a lot of his vulnerabilities. He's a guy, right? Things happen. And when things happen to him, he gets a little, you know, like, oh man, how am I gonna get out of this? But she's more emotionally vulnerable, which is what you look for uh, in a script. And I think that people can see themselves within this woman because we have our own vulnerabilities, right? You know, we, we have our own empathies. And seeing that within a character, I think, is something that is very attractive, you know? Uh, plus also, when you have actors like Rosario Dawson, who is, fantastically unbelievable and the dynamicism she puts in her voice performance it brings another side to the character as well that you don't, you don't normally get to see you know so I think it's something to do with that you know seeing the, this vulnerable character being portrayed by amazing actors you know I think that that's it plus I don't know I feel like these are different times now man you know 2019 you know she ha you realize how strong of a character she really is or who that she really can be you know so perhaps that as well the DC animated movies have got um, a, a pretty consistent look and aesthetic to them for yeah. the most part. How do you keep, do you work to keep them evolving so they don't get stale from a visual standpoint? Yeah, that's also the script as well. Yeah. You know, like, um, like putting them in interesting scenarios. Also, for James's universe, cinematic universe, you know, he's got Phil Barossa, you know. Uh, and I mean, this wasn't you know designed by Phil Barossa, but you kind of keep it consistent with the character designs or whatever. And then you know we sit there and oh my God, I wish you could see all the designs that we did of her because they were freaking amazing, all of them. They laid them all, all the designs out, and I was like, I like all of these. <laughs> I know it's your choice, Sam, but I'm gonna hang these all in my office, you know. Uh, but I don't know. I just think that you look at the script and where we're going with the script, and then you design based on that, you know. But that stuff is fun, dude. Seeing all those designs laid out, blast. What do you feel is the power of this particular story in terms of its impact on Wonder Woman as a character? This story in particular, when you guys see it, we're doing stuff with her that I don't think we've seen that much. Like she plays sort of like a mentor character in this. So seeing her, this warrior queen, you know, bring up somebody behind her and is showing somebody you know, what it means to be a true hero. I haven't seen that a lot with her. Also, she makes mistakes. How does she recover 
from those mistakes and the mistakes she made is doing a lot of damage you know and that's another one of the vulnerability things you know uh, that I like about her so I feel like that's the just seeing her in a different space than we've normally that we're used to seeing her I think that that's what separates this movie from any other movie you've seen that we've done with her yeah it should be cool it's one of, it's one of my it's one of my favorite stories I'll say that what would you like to explore in the future Wonder Woman Dang, there's so much. Uh, future Wonder Woman. I don't know, like this one, even though it's kind of original, it did touch on some of the um, stuff from the comic books. I would think more of like a Wonder Woman year one type thing would be fun. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think that could be cool. Very cool. Uh, personally, I want to do No Man's Land. It's been my dream. But they're not gonna go back and do that. I think the more I say it in front of you guys, maybe they'll think about it. What did it get it out there? Get it yeah, out there. yeah. Yeah, I think what would be really cool is if I could do it as like a like a feature, like theatrical feature. That would be because like, these guys don't like to go back. You know, they want to base it on because you know it goes hand in hand with the comics. You know, but in the feature, they'll go back. They'll tell whatever story is great. Yeah. So that could be fun. Sure. I go back and pitch them. What about Silver Swan kind of working, you know, her into it and how to portray her? And, you know, obviously the script, but also the person that comes in and record. Yeah. yeah. Maria's voice is amazing. It's this deep, raspy voice. Um, but just the attitude and the audacity of that character, you know, like, I was wrong, somebody's gonna pay. And you like that. You're like, hell yeah, that's cool, you know, but then she's got a deep moral weakness, you know. Somebody's gonna pay, but what are you willing to do to make them pay? And that's the difference between her and Wonder Woman. It makes Wonder Woman look stronger, you know. But also, like, how can you as Wonder Woman go back and rectify this issue, you know? Something that you helped start. Uh, and watching Silver Swan go through this huge, you know, moral and emotional change is friggin' dope. It was fun. That's a fun character to draw, man. She was really fun. Um, in this time, I think, in society, I think Wonder Woman poses as a, for comic book fans, and, and even um, seeing it on live action, Wonder Woman poses as a beacon of hope. Mm -hmm. um, and equality as well, and also, you know, showing to everybody that women can do what yeah. no man can as yeah. she walked across no man's land. Um, talking about this, um, uh, talk about this movie. What message are you guys trying to tell to society as far as what women can do in society? Yeah, I mean, she's like the best woman ever. So, <laughs> um, the thing that I like about her is she doesn't allow anybody else to tell her what her vulnerabilities are. She chooses when she wants to be vulnerable. She chooses like if she's dating Steve or not. Uh, it's up to her. She's the one that gets to say what she wants, you know. Um, so I think that that's sort of the message, you know, like you got to take, you know, what you want um, and show and prove, you know. So, and what's also cool is in our story, they put that title Wonder Woman on her, you know, and she accepts it. She allows society to call her Wonder Woman, you know, like, I'm the baddest bitch around, you know, I will allow you to do that. You know what I mean? So, like, but that's just her proving what her inner qualities are, you know, so hopefully that's the message people get out of it. It's a lot of very strong women in this movie. It's a lot, and I, I like that we do that, you know, so. And I like that Rosario is playing her, you know what I mean? <laughs> so, yeah. She's pretty much one of the best Wonder Women ever, man. She's, like, really cool. Yeah, she really loves the character, too, so. Did you have her for Hush, too, right? Was she in Hush? We've had her for everything in, the, in this universe. Yeah, yeah. We hit her up and she's like, yes, let's go. <laughs> and she's a super mega star. Yeah. She's like, yeah, let's do it. No, you know, she was so. great. Death. Yeah, yeah. Really cool performance. Oh my God. Yeah. I was there when she did that, when she recorded that. There? I, sometimes I'm Sam Liu's supervising storyboard guy. And I can't remember all the movies that I've done. Sure. But I get to go in the booth whenever. In their role. So, and I love uh, Rosario and I are kind of like friends now because of all this stuff. So, anything coming up for you? Right now, I, I work on. I'm doing a feature for DreamWorks. Yeah. So, I actually, that's studio. Yeah. Leave on a high note. Yeah. 
you know, you talked about Wonder Woman's vulnerability. It has nothing yeah. to do with your movie, but the moment in the live action movie that yeah. sort of triggered it for me is here's a woman who could kick ass, walk across that field, do all that stuff. Yeah. And yet she takes an ice cream cone and yeah. she looks at the guy and says, You should be very proud. It's yeah. <laughs> she loves ice cream. We did something that <laughs> I think it was uh what movie was that where she like is eating ice cream? She transforms. What are you looking at? One woman eating ice cream. Uh, yeah, she loves ice cream. That was, We're um, asking the hard hitting questions at this table. <laughs> Justice <Yeah>. League. <laughs> War? No, it was that was one more recent. The one. It might have been. Uh, it wasn't the first one. It might have been one of the return. It was, I think it was Reign of Superman. Oh, okay. No, if we didn't no, cut it out. No, because the original one we did that one was before that, right? Like, yeah, yeah. Years oh, wait, ago. Didn't she have ice cream with Lois Lane? Yeah, that's it. That was that. That was that. That was that. That was Reign. Yeah. Look at that. There you go. That was cool. Thanks.